What's going on everyone? Let's talk about strategy for workout two, AKA the gauntlet. As a reminder, this workout is going to be three rounds, one minute on the assault bike, 30 seconds rest, one minute max push up, 30 seconds rest, one minute step ups, preferably weighted, 30 seconds rest, one minute sit ups, 30 seconds rest, and then one minute of single arm thrusters, 30 seconds on each side. After that, you will rest about two minutes until you do that again, and then again. We're gonna create some custom forms. On these forms, you'll be able to track how many assault bike cows you've had, how many push-ups you've had, how many step-ups you had, so on and so forth. That way at the end of the workout, you'll be able to tally up your total amount of assault bike calories, your total amount of push-ups, your total amount of step-ups, so on and so forth. When it comes to attacking this workout, I don't advise that you go 100% out in your first round. Personally, what I plan on doing is really using that first round to test out these movements. The workout's going to start on the air bike. When it comes to pacing your air bike, I personally recommend that you take a look at the RPM or the cadence. If you're going to pay attention to that, you kind of need to have an idea of what your standard or average cadence usually is, or really use that first round to test things out on the assault bike and see what feels comfortable. Another way that you can do this is when you're riding the assault bike, if you have an Apple watch or some way to test your heart rate, if your heart rate's around 170 BPM, that's probably good. You don't want it creeping above that. As soon as you're done the assault bike, you're gonna have a really short 30 second rest before you go into push-ups. For your push-ups, have a number in mind of what you want to hit in that minute. You don't need to be doing consecutive push-ups throughout that minute. You can do one, take a rest, another one, take a rest. It's completely up to you. I also recommend picking one standard and sticking to that. What I mean by that is if you plan on doing plank push-ups, do your best to do plank push-ups throughout the entire three rounds. If you think you're going to need to go down to knee push-ups, then I personally recommend starting with knee push-ups. This way, when you retest this workout, you can really see how much you've improved. Just when you're done, your push-ups, you're gonna get a nice 30 second rest before we go to our box step overs. For these box step overs, you can do weighted or you can do body weight. Biggest tip for the box step overs is really to just pick a pace and stick with it throughout the entire minute. The goal for this station should be to not necessarily take a rest and have to stop. If you are going to be using weight, I personally recommend holding it in the goblet style position or in the front rack position. Once again, you're gonna take a nice 30 second rest before we go on to sit-ups. For sit-ups, I do recommend recommend using the ab mat. I personally like to put the chunkier end in the lower part of my back. Also with sit-ups, because we are trying to get as many as we can in that minute, it's okay to use those arms for momentum. You can also play around with your feet if you want your feet flat on the ground or if you want to do more of what we call this butterfly style of sit-ups. If you plan on just doing 60 seconds unbroken of sit-ups, that's okay. If you want to maybe do 20 seconds, then rest 10 seconds, then do another 20 seconds, that's okay as well. But go in with some sort of game plan. Then because we're such nice people, you get another 30 seconds rest before we go into our single arm dumbbell thrusters. Now here's my biggest pro tip for single arm dumbbell thrusters. Start with your weaker arm. With our thrusters, remember that this is one continuous movement. When I'm squatting down and when I'm standing up, I'm using the momentum of coming out of that squat to help me thrust that dumbbell overhead. Also, when it comes to single arm dumbbell thrusters, a lot of the times people have a tendency to go as fast as they can. Take a second and pause at the top. This is going to allow you to keep your heart rate nice and controlled. Ideally, we are looking for people to get as deep in that squat as they can. You can use something like a medicine ball or even a bench as a target to make sure you're hitting that depth every single time. And then when you're done your single arm dumbbell thrusters, you are going to technically get two minutes of rest before you need to do this whole thing again and then again. So although this workout consists of short bursts of work, we need to be really mindful with how hard we go out. You Use that first round to get an idea of how this is gonna feel. Then for your second round and third round, you can start to pick it up from there. My personal strategy is going to be to feel out my first round, go a little bit harder in my second round, and then the third round is where I plan to really test and challenge myself. The nice thing about this strategy is when you go into your second round, you're gonna actually have a number to beat. You're gonna have the first round of results to compare yourself to. So your goal could be, I wanna get more cows on the assault bike in my second round, I wanna get more push-ups, and then when it comes your third round, same thing. Let's see if you can beat how many cows you got in your second round. So yes, this is going to be a tough workout, but you guys are going to kill it. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday. The classes are all live in mind body. If you can't come to one of those classes, don't worry. Just comment down below and we'll find another time for you guys to come and do this super fun workout. So all that being said, hope you guys have the best day ever. Bye for now.